Well, now that we have already carved these two foxes here, I have drawn little lines into them as to where we are going to burn certain details to make the faces. And I will tell you all what we'll do here is I've got a writing pen tip and a skew pen tip upon my razor tip wood burner. And we're going to use the writing tip here to kind of make the eyes in. And there's a few certain little points you make. One up, one across, one diagonal this way, and one diagonal that way. So we finally come up with the two eyes that make the fox. And so it's just... Um, little work I say oh and I say we're going to make the same little lines and dots to go about the eyes of this other fox as well and see how it's going to turn and make itself look just like it needs to be and we are going to also kind of turn this down a little bit, switch over, go to the skew tip. And with the skew tip, we're going to make this little line across that goes for the nose. And so that's how we come to that. We're going to do it on this other one here as well. Make the little line there. There's places we'll go about this where we'll probably do a little more, come to make it so it just turns out like it's supposed to be. And so I say we kind of got little lines there to make the places where the noses need to be. And so that kind of comes down to what it's supposed to be like. I think I'm going to turn this down for a moment. Maybe turn it off. Kind of give this tip a little time to cool. Luckily, I found my wire pliers the other day. When the tip kind of gets a little crooked here and there, you probably need to take the wire pliers and straighten it out a little bit. Just like I kind of just did here. Time to turn it back up a little bit. Make sure we see the a little electrodes coming through, making it heat up. But, you know, when you're not careful straightening it out, sometimes you just might kind of overdo it, might cause it to break, and then the electricity doesn't run through it and therefore doesn't cause it to light up or burn. But there's like a little line we make along here. We got kind of got the lines drawn out to make the face and the mouth. So we got this one right here and we're gonna try to draw a little line here. And so that's how that is going to be. And then kind of come along and make this other little line here. And I say, this is how we come out with the face now. And we're going to kind of take it where we're going to make this line along here and then we've kind of got the little place where it comes down to be the little nose of all things. And then for these little places here, these two little lines that make up the little mouth, as you'll see, we're going to put them in here and kind of try to 
draw it out so it kind of makes it so it's straight and right, I say. And above all little other things, we kind of got a little work along to do. We're probably going to make it so we're going to take the little bit of sandpaper and sort of, I'd say, like, um, kind of make the little places to remove the pencil marks, kind of try to get the worst of the burn marks out and take care of the little things as they ought to need to be. And so I'd say when we come down to it, we're going to have a little work in progress, done all things. And I say that little times in life, it's like, oh, the work is shall come and be done. And I say this little light, thin, grit, worn out sandpaper we use, it's going to come along and make the little things so we just move on a little bit and so we're kind of getting the best of the sanding done. We've kind of got little places made out for the little eyes. And so I say for the nose and the mouth. And that's what it comes down to here. And I brought my labels over here. The little I Choose Charity Over Bitterness slogan labels I print out. We're going to kind of take one along and sort of put it near the ending edge of the fox. And so, of all things, we put our work into this. It's all going to be a little good and hefty for the long run of the work. And so, we got the tag on like that for one side and for the other side we're going to try to put on the tag from the different direction and so that's kind of how we do when we make something more than one time we try to alternate the directions of the tag and when it comes down to this this shall be what we shall see. This shall be the way it shall work. And for little ways in life about choosing charity over bitterness, we come up with the quote just to kind of share our opinions and our words. And you probably, if you've seen all my old videos, you know what that quote is all about. So... This is a time when we're going to add the last little bit of burning down underneath. We're going to put my initials in the year and we're going to put Sapelli because that is the wood it is carved from. So down here we put J D. P and the year is 2022 so that is what we put on here down here and this is how we do it we've kind of got the other piece where the tag is in the other direction, so we're going to do the initials and the year in the vice versa direction. And so we got JDP in here, and we're going to put in a little 2022 in here. And so as for how we're going to make this all turn out, 
it's just a little work that shall work its way into us and so I say oh what kind of work it comes to be now from the same direction we're going to put right sapelli under the tail as that is the type of wood that we use Never seen exactly what a sapelli tree looks like, but it's probably out there somewhere in the exotic world, probably out in the jungle or a rainforest somewhere. So we finally got that sapelli in here, and we're going to do it from the other direction along with the initials and the year for this other one here. And so Writing in the name of the wood, it's going to be a little thing with, oh, how the project turns out. Tell you, there's a Sapelli Santa I've had for so many years. I was so grateful to sell it a few weeks back. It's been in my inventory a long time. Sometimes I'm just grateful for things to get out and be sold when they've just always been around for so long. So we finally got the end carved in and there. And now we come down to the step where we take the little glue bottles and Loctite super glue and sort of put it over the tag, take the little piece of paper towel and spread the glue over the tag, kind of laminate the tag so it's going to do good in the oil. And I'd say I've probably got a few things in that oil over there that might even be ready to come out by now probably been in there for several days and can't even remember what the last thing I put in that oil and in that container was but whatever it was I just know it might be to the point where it might be about finished now so it can be about time to take it out fairly soon whatever it is whatever it's going to be it can be about getting time to be where we can remove it and use the container again so I say we kind of got little life on things little work on things and so I see I see I see oh work in life this is just kind of taking all this credit for us and what we do and how we do and oh oh I say bright shiny packages come in all sorts of shapes and sizes sometimes even the biggest things can come out of the littlest shops perhaps there will be a time when I could kind of get a little bit of a bigger shop than I have here. I tell y'all, I just ordered some, a couple new packages of super glue yesterday because I'm about down to using what might be my last one pretty soon. And so it was time to order a new bulk of some more. And so that was kind of what we came down to doing yesterday and what it has to be and what it's going to be how we're going to take care of little matters like that in our hands oh I say 
little work shall make its way into us and I say of all things we're gonna kind of try to make this a little ways to go and I say it's just the kind of things that we say of all things are just moving into us all the time moving into us all the time and it's getting about time where we see something in the oil don't know how long it's been there can't remember how long go over and check and see what it is and i tell you i just did that i went over there and checked and so that it was a couple of Kentucky Coffee Tree Cats that I carved earlier this week. Can't even remember exactly which night or which morning it was that I carved those, but it's been quite a few days, and I'll tell y'all what, you know, you probably saw me do the videos where I carved those, but I think it's probably getting about time where I'll be taking those out of the oil and telling them off and probably be finally putting the foxes into that little container of oil. So that's the kind of work we've been doing today. And I thank you all for coming by and watching and seeing everything I do. Take care.